Alright, this is the final uh, very short extension video on making this platform game slightly better. So, um, what we're going to do is just look at making this level a little bit longer. So we've already learned about um, the layout size. So if we uh, click on here we can see that the layout size is 854 by 480. Um, that was the same size as my canvas. But what if I do, What if I change this number to quite a lot? So um, instead of 854, let's make it 10 times longer. And I could um, just add a 0 on the end of that. And that will make it 10 times longer. And I press enter. And what you'll see is we've now got this massive long level that goes all the way to the end. Um, but there's no platforms on it. So um, if you were to try playing this, you could actually go um, if I just quickly do this, if I add control and drag another one out and I put the door over here, we would have a serious error because if we play it, um, here we go, just bring my tab over here, um, if we play this game you'll see that, um, if I don't die that is, and when I get to the end I actually go off the screen and the game's going to go a bit weird and restart. So um, we need to fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a behaviour to uh, this little guy and we can do it over here. We've got the platform behaviour right now. If we click on add edit behaviours and we're going to leave the platform there because we need it but we're going to click on another one. Um, and this one is going to allow us to scroll the camera to the player. So we click on scroll to and because it's attached to this player it's going to scroll to this player. So if we double click that you see we've got two behaviors on here and uh, right now if we try playing this game um, window keeps coming on the wrong side but here we go if I play this game you'll see that as we start to move um, the camera moves as well so I'm able to get myself to this door to win the game um, the uh, that's uh, the very basics of that, you can make a, a really cool challenging level if you want to. You can even make it go higher by changing the uh, the other number, the, the Y direction, um, and make it go down as well if you want to. Um, make sure you've got some background so we can see where you're going. Uh, the last thing is that uh, you don't need to have you don't need to finish at just one level as well. So uh, earlier on we mentioned here we've got layout one and layout two. Layout two uh, doesn't have to be uh, a U one. It could easily just be um, another level. Um, and if you wanted, uh, you could create all the same uh, events and actions that you wanted. Uh, in this other level. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. So I'm going to delete that text instance. So we, we don't want this. We've got layout 2. Um, and rather than have to recreate all the sprites, you'll see that they're already part of my project. So if I need a player, all I need to do is drag them onto the scene. And if I need a platform sprite, I just drag it onto the scene too. And if I need one of these uh, pointy sprites, I can just drag that onto the scene. And um, I'm going to need a door as well. So I'm going to drag that onto the scene and we do exactly what we did last time. We can just click and drag and put them where we want them. And uh, I'm going to make myself, uh, make that a little bit easier. Um, um, and so I'm going to hit that door. Um, if you hit this door, you'll get an error because obviously you need another scene to jump to. Um, and oh yeah, we wouldn't actually get an error because we don't have any events. But um, layout two, as you can see from the properties over here, um, if I have uh, the layout um, selected, just click on the grey. You can see it uses event sheet two, and there are no actions in event sheet two. And here's a real shortcut. I can't be bothered um, doing all of these again, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight them all or select them all with Control A for Apple. Um, Control A will select them all. Control C will copy them. So I've just pressed Control C, then go to the event sheet, click anywhere, and press Control V, and up they come. Um, the issue here is that it's going to try and restart. It will restart the level. So when this player collides with that that door sprite. It's going to try and uh, load layout too. What we need to do is change that once we have created our third layout. Um, and that's basically it. That's the extension work for making this platform game really cool. Um, in the in the next series, I'm going to also show you how to um, add in some sprites and uh, that you've done in an art package or that you get from the internet. So it'll make it look a lot prettier too. Um, so hopefully you've learned a lot about using Construct 2 and you'll be able to make a really cool and interesting, challenging, but not too difficult platform game with what you've learned.